Back, everyone. Here is what you need to know to get your day started. Butte and Shasta County both have reported new deaths in the coronavirus Wednesday as cases surge across the country and here at home. Butte County Health Representatives tell Action News Now a fourth person has died from the coronavirus. That person was over the age of 70 and had underlying health conditions. Another death also reported in Shasta County with health reps saying a sixth person, a man in his 80s, has died. A man is in the hospital with major injuries this morning. Just south of Boeing Road is where a crash happened. That's near the airport. Chico police say it happened just before 8 p.m. Wednesday night. Officers on scene say the driver went off the road, overcorrected, went off the road again, and then flipped. Police say alcohol seems to have been a factor. Three students face up to three years in prison after pleading no contest to felony attempted arson. Police say three students used a Molotov cocktail to try and burn a Chico State police car. It happened on May 31st. Butte County District Attorney Mike Ramsey said the incident began when the three, who are all roommates in Chico, decided to, quote, send a message about police brutality by burning a police car. Happening today, California's Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara will host the first ever statewide teletown hall on wildfire insurance issues. It's set to take place from 5 until 9 tonight, and we do have the phone number to dial in and the access code. You can find that at actionnewsnow.com. Click on News and then News Links. And happening today, the Community Action, or tomorrow actually, the Community Action Agency of Butte County is planning another tailgate food giveaway to help anybody who is in need. It takes place tomorrow, Friday, July 10th from 9 until noon or while supplies last. The giveaway takes place in the parking lot of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on West East Avenue in Chico. And a long-standing annual event in one local community is now on hold, courtesy the pandemic. The Shasta County staple that was once known as the Ducky Derby and now called the Sundial Riffle Raffle is on hold. Organizers say they don't want to put local youth in harm's way by going door to door selling tickets. This event has been in place more than 30 years and has raised more than $5 million for substance abuse prevention and youth development. The Centers for Disease Control is set to release new apart. safety guidelines on reopening schools. The existing voluntary guidelines include, if possible, keeping desks six feet apart and closing cafeterias and playgrounds, as well as encouraging kids to use cloth face coverings. Happening today, final decisions for this session of the U.S. Supreme Court, including two cases involving President Trump's financial records. One of those cases over whether payments to two women who claimed they had affairs with the president violated state regulations. Another by House Democrats looking into potential business connections to Russia.